Hey everybody, it's Mama J and we're back. We are back with part 17 to the comic book Stay or Go. Now don't forget, if you're commenting on every single part to this series, you will be entered in a giveaway to win a slab of your choice. If you're not into comics, I can build you a different type of mystery box if you don't want the slab. But either way, one lucky person that is a viewer will get a slab for entering comments on all of the videos. So let's make sure that you guys get those comments in. All right, so we're gonna shop the next 15 comics and decide whether they're staying or they're going. First one actually is really cool. Um, says it was a 25 cent comic, I don't know. Um, down at the bottom, yeah, so I'm not really sure how old this comic is, but it is a Walking Dead comic. I'm pretty sure it wasn't 25 cents because Walking Dead even been around that long. But not a keeper, but still a really cool comic if you like the Walking Dead or zombies or anything like that. This right here is the DC Universe Rebirth Justice League versus Suicide Squad. I know this comic is got a little bit of value. Not real expensive, but probably around the $15, $20 mark. Not all of them I know, but this one I'm pretty sure. But that's a pretty cool comic. I always like when they're the black and white covers like that. I think they're pretty cool, but not a keeper. Uh, next one we got here is The Batman Who Laughs. This is number three. This is actually a really awesome cover. This is probably around the $15, $20 mark too. That's pretty awesome. Love this cover. I mean, you can see Poison Ivy and that's supposed to be the Joker up there in the corner and Batgirl. So this is pretty awesome, but not a keeper. This one right here, I know it's well, it's got a $25 sticker on it, but there is that one. This cover is pretty cool, too. These are some really cool Batman covers. I know the tag says $25, but I think it's probably around $20 when I looked it up. You know, retailers, they're going to go for the higher price. And then this one, this is a pretty cool Batman cover. That's pretty cool. Again, no keepers. All right, next one here. Oh, we did some of these um, in a prior video. So this is Forever Evil number seven. So it's pretty cool. I love these covers. They have so many different things going on on them. Still pretty cool cover. Not very price worthy. Oh, I know we've pulled us off some of these before. These are not really expensive covers. This is more the Gotham City Garage. I believe I probably have the full set if we put it together, but there's number seven and number eight. Those are pretty cool. I think they run on an average of about five bucks a piece, at least last time I looked. Uh, Justice League of America. I know that these have Wonder Woman on them, but they're probably not keepers for me. I'm looking more where Wonder Woman is the main focus. And all I see is Flash. There's Flash. There's Aquaman, Superman. So it's pretty cool cover, just not a keeper. Oh, this is a really awesome cover. This is Suicide Squad, and you got Harley. And you see the big shark in the background. I forgot his name. Can't think of his name, but that's a pretty awesome cover. Wow, we haven't had any keepers yet. Let's see, what's this next one? I'm not sure what this is. It was $1.75. This is from the um, September of 1990, and it's called Spell Jammer. It's the first issue. I don't know, I'd have to check. And then this next one is Arcan Arcanim. This reminds me more of maybe an anime of some sort. All right, well, I think I found our first keeper. This is from August of 1990. And we have Wonder Woman, The Legacy of Pandora's Box. That's pretty cool. This is a really awesome cover. I love these virgin covers like this where it's just the picture with nothing obstructing your view of the picture on there so that's a pretty cool one but not a keeper again okay and last but not least this comic cover i know is from like the 60s but i'll be honest it is in the worst shape ever this is a 25 cent comic it's marvel tales and i tell you it's in the worst shape ever because if you look i don't even think there's a back piece to the cover i think this is literally just sitting in here i could probably pull it out and show you guys but it's pretty, it's pretty, uh, pretty bad. Yeah, see, there's no back to it. Looks like the person actually cut out something there that they wanted to send off. But yeah, there's no back to it. But this comic is from February of 1964. I don't know, you know, being this tore up, if it has any value. I haven't looked into it yet. Not even sure how I came across this comic. I think it was... 
God, I don't even know. All right, so I'm gonna put that back in there so that it doesn't get any more mangled up. But that is a 1964 comic. I know I've had a couple of people ask me about this in the past. Um, but again, the cover's so thrashed, I'd have to look into it. So out of those, we only had one keeper, just one keeper. But that's all right, because I'm trying to weed out all these comics. So anyways, let me know what you think down below. Were there any of them that you thought were really cool? Even though it's thrashed, I really think a 1964 comic is actually pretty awesome. Too bad it's not in good shape, but again, you can see where the person cut something out and all that other stuff. But either way, let me know what you think down below. Don't forget, make sure you're leaving a comment on all those videos. And my Patreons, they get entered into all the giveaways. If you're interested, there's a link down below. They get something every single month. And until next time, don't forget, keep on rocking.